Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Sky Saga Infinite Isles. This is uh, Alpha version 5. We are going to go and do the Medium Warriors Tomb Keystone quest adventure thingamajiggy doohickey etc. device thing. A lot of words. Um, before we do, however, uh, we, well, we need to head down here anyway, but um, we need to uh, grab some food. Uh, not last episode, but the episode prior, we were finishing up a jungle adventure, and we kind of got hurt quite a bit, but we didn't have any food on us to, uh, easily heal up, and honestly, that was a bit of an issue for me. Uh, and considering we are going to be in a desert, I should probably have not grabbed those, but grabbed them back instead, so we can actually cool off in the midst of the desert. Yeah, we gotta complete a warrior's tomb adventure. We also need to find some yellow wax for a candle quest. Uh, we gotta open 20 chests, defeat 10 bosses, and discover some un unique landmarks still. Uh, it's all about those quests and all about that experience. Uh, have you improved your own mind? Yes. Yes, I have. Not going to answer your question, though. Uh, also looking for some oil lamp recipes, which can be located here in the desert. I'm hoping we can find some. Um, the oil lamps I'm interested in using in a new building I want to construct. Um, it is actually going to be like a small house, if you will, like a, uh, a, a kind of like a toll gate house, I, I guess you could kind of describe it. I, I kind of want to put it outside of the fortress, uh, kind of to the left, like if you're standing at the fortress uh, doorway and you're looking at the airship to the left of that. Uh, that's where I want to put this building. This building will have a kind of like wood earthy kind of rustic kind of style to it and I think I might want to put like my quote unquote pad and whatnot in there. Uh, by the way, are there trees ever in uh, the desert? No, it's cactus. It's funny cactus. I think we've seen some trees, but I don't think we've seen many. And we are overheating. Uh, the reason I ask about the trees is... If there are no trees here, where do the beehives spawn? Is my question. Or, I'm not really interested in you. Just leave me alone. Then I'll walk straight into you. Anything of interest down here? Uh, I got some yellow and blue crystals and a liger that has taken some damage from something and opening up there okay so the answer to that question is a nope uh, plus that also gets us out of the heat for a moment to help cool off got some firing cactus up there some firing cactus there I don't know why the battle is explaining, but I'm not even the one in combat. There's a whole lot of nothing in this area. It's a building way out there. Grab that unique landmark. Are we seriously going to end up with five out of six unique landmarks from this adventure? I, I'm going to be very sad if that's the case. This place over here, though, should have quite a few chests for us to open for that quest. Uh, I don't know about having anything of interest for me, like anything new or whatnot, but uh, new stuff should be abound. Or uh, pl plentiful? Things should be plentiful. Uh, that's three out of twenty chests already, and there is a fourth one. We've already opened up a fifth of the quest requirement. And we haven't even gone that far. Now we've opened up a fourth. Because all of the chests ever in the history of ever have been located around here. Hello, Liger. Goodbye, Liger. Not really interested. Moving on. I'm going to be sprinting a bit. Just so he doesn't try chasing me. This permanent red border thing I have going on right now, not liking it. 
Don't like it at all. Hello, fire and cactus. Uh, is there anything over here? Or is this just leading me back to the platform? It's just leading me back to the platform. Okay, so we're, we, we seriously are going to end up with just uh, two... Uh, ow. Two of the five... Or, uh, two of the three... Wait. Two of the three landmarks we needed for the quest. I apparently can't do math right now. That's good to know. Dun, dun, dun. Random boss battle or battle music, then it disappeared. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> what? A little bit of fall damage. I'll take it. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Yeah. So I didn't see. I also didn't see any trees. Uh, maybe I just missed them because I was 100% looking for them. Uh, I, I kind of feel like there are no trees here, which makes me wonder, where exactly do we get yellow wax from? Is it, uh, no. is it from this awful liger? Is it from these? Mm, maybe? I don't know, that actually looks orange to me, not yellow. This also be the lighting as well. Uh, we're also on the lookout for chests. Any more candles around here, hopefully? I hoping there would be more candles around here. I'm assuming we need to go that way. That way is all lit up. Why is this place all lit up? There's a lot of light in this area. Oh, that's the end. Um, I not expect to hit the end already. Okay. What's, uh, what, what was down over here then? So I'm not really interested in the Ember Wolf right now. Uh, choo, choo, choo chash, choo chash, choo chash around here. Uh, candle, yes, but what color is that? Orange. It is orange. I thought so. I thought so. It definitely looked orange to me, but uh, you know what? We'll take him anyway. It's uh, hard for us to find enough wax as it is, and we could always de uh, dismantle those into wax and turn it in for the, uh... Hello? You follow me, huh? I didn't expect you to follow me. Well, uh, honestly, uh, Amber Wolf, or whatever the hell you uh, call it, because I can't see your name right now, Guardian Liger, that was a lot easier of a fight because you decided to follow me out into those pillared areas and then not attack me for a full stamina bar's worth of attacks. Which was weird, by the way. I Nothing caught me off guard on that one. Oh, hey, another white Colosseum key. Or a keystone. Dink. Aw. No candle that time, huh? Dink. No candle? Uh, by the way, how many does it take to dismantle this? Just one, and we get two wax from that. That is honestly not much. I expected more from that. Actually, how many wax does it take to go into a single candle? Is it three? If it is three, then that makes a bit more sense, but, uh... Well, that was an easy adventure. That took us, what, five minutes, I think? Maybe, maybe ten? Tops? Curious to know, actually. <laughs> I do have some coffee, by the way. I'm drinking. It's just as good as water. Alright, so uh, we completed the... Uh, Warrior's Tomb Adventure quest. Um, okay. 
Um, hmm. <laughs> I expected that adventure to take longer. Let me go ahead and clean up my inventory really quick, and we can go ahead and do another one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll clean my inventory and we can do another one. Give me just a moment. Alrighty. Didn't exactly clean up my inventory as intended, but uh, I had to put everything away. I wanted to take a look at uh, this metal battle axe. Um, I would love to see what one looks like and see what these different color options actually do. So let's see, we got... Uh, let me put these in some sort of reasonable order here. Like so, there we go. Alright, so starting with uh, all of these, we got uh, the blue straps that turn. It looks like there's a bit of a handle here, and maybe up to here. Uh, the change colors, depending on the strap color. Alright, the rod itself is the center shaft. Good to know. Doesn't seem to really change this middle bit. Uh, right, and these weights determine the interior portion color, and these plates determine the uh, blade edge color as well as that middle bit, it looks like. Okay. So, if we went with something like that, that would, actually doesn't look too bad in my opinion. Um, and I would actually like to use these black leather straps, but uh, since black leather is hard to come by, I'm curious to know what these other two colors would look like. And we have some frost steel as well that we can take a look at. Huh. Oh, and I'm curious to know uh, where does frost steel come from, internet? Frost steel, frost steel, frost steel, frost steel. Uh, frost steel. Frost steel. Um. I, I mean, I, I, I do love the f color of the frost steel. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to go that route. Because we don't have much of it. And when this tool or this weapon becomes damaged, it's going to be harder to repair. Uh, but I. Eh. Eh. Honestly, I think we're going to be stuck with uh, Sky Iron and Sun Steel for the time being, and maybe the Verdonite, because the Aquanite and whatnot, we, we just don't really have much. Uh, the Aquanite we could probably get away for a while, but I'm not sure if I really like the color. Uh, the Frost Steel I would love to use, but we really don't have that much. As for the straps, since that can get damaged and we have to use that to repair. What other colors do we have here? Uh, we could go with the yellow uh, to go together with the uh, sun seal. I would have no problem with that actually. All right, so assuming we made one out of entirely sun steel and then modifying it to be a bit better in color, we could go with this. Um, I kind of wish there was a better way to see this. It has like kind of like a emerald encrusted tip looking along with some like emerald and crystal coloring uh, throughout the actual rod portion itself. Uh, the blade portion is iron, the metal weight portion would be gold. Essentially this weapon kind of looks in that little preview box more like a weapon that one would have only on display to show one's wealth. Like you had this weapon made of gold and it encrusted in emeralds just because you had the money to like th th that would be it just because you had the money to we're, we're actually going to craft that by the way and then we're going to run away like an idiot 
because our, our uh, storage system for these materials are totally, totally not right here. It's totally not right here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Verdonite is in the top chest. Me? That goes there. Uh, by the way, that adventure took around uh, eight minutes. That's what I estimated from the uh, footage of the 10 minute segment. I know we weren't in the uh, adventure that entire time because of the intro and whatnot. This is going to take a while, isn't it? We do have a quest to turn in. I suppose we could go turn that quest in. If you really wanted to. Uh, alternatively, we, uh, we don't. Another thing I'm curious about is, is this battle axe two-handed or one-handed? I would probably assume two-handed because most battle axes in most games are two-handed. But, uh, I guess we will see in this case. Yeah, that definitely took longer than I thought it would. Sky Iron Battle Axe. It is indeed a two-handed. This might actually be the case where we could use the, uh, the third-person view here. So you can see how the rod in the center is all green, and at the base it's green. I, I like the look of that. And then you got the yellow. Yeah, that looks really awesome. I like this. It honestly looks like uh, a very valuable weapon. And we can own farm animals from a distance with it. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, the only problem is we are unable to block with this and it uh, does seem to be a bit of a slow attack. Like, click, 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 click. Whereas uh, the sword here, it's click, 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 click. So, yeah, it, this sword definitely feels faster. Or, it's definitely faster, but I, I don't know if it's going to deal as much damage as Battle Axe does. We'll give the Battle Axe uh, a try here and see how it feels. Uh, let's head off to the social hub and turn that quest in. Maybe grab another one. I don't remember what the other ones were. It was a Nightfall one and uh, something else, I think. I don't know. Uh, we can also stop briefly off at uh, the merchants and uh, see what they have for sale. Uh, as for which adventure to go on after all this, uh, probably going to be a forest one just so we can get some wax for the uh, the quest. Uh, that's a good way. Uh, we'll, we'll hit up the merchants first since we're going to be over here. Uh, yeah, we, we can hit up these merchants, see what they have. Uh, do you guys have anything? Do you have anything? You have the grindstone, the metal cornice clockwise recipe, the decorative stone tile A recipe, and the pillar base recipe. Okay. Uh, resource trader, do you have any wax for sale by chance? Uh, we can actually buy and uh, give it to the community trader. Apparently not. Uh, you, do you have anything of interest? No. Fabric, you have you have cotton for sale actually. Uh, we could buy the cotton and you know what? No, let's let's buy some cotton. We need 120, I believe, and we have 70, 73. I'm gonna, buy, I'm gonna buy a 70. It's only 60 knots per 10, so I'm okay with that. Uh, and what do we have over here? Uh, the Light Coliseum, Medium Gold Runner, Medium Sun Reach Palace, Dark Corrupted Hive, and Dark Warrior tomb, uh, Warrior's Tomb Keystone. Uh, what was the name of the other one? Sky Peak Citadel, Quarry, Sunken Temple, and the Warrior's Tomb is what you completed. Okay, so they do not have any of those. That's that is unfortunate. Uh, 
food merchants up here, so I'm not interested in them. Let's go ahead and turn that quest in now. An Ember Wolf Lair Adventure and Nightfall Fortress Adventure. Okay. I guess we'll take the Ember Wolf Lair one. I'm pretty sure I would more randomly stumble upon that one than the Nightfall one. Uh, yeah, I think between them, I'm probably going to stumble upon this one before the Nightfall one. And we don't have any uh, wax on us, do we? No. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead then and turn off the following that quest and following this one. So let's head back to our home island here. And let's collect up those planks. And the cotton and the, I think, 50 fabric dyes I wanted. And see what exactly he wants us to craft from all this. Because obviously we don't have the... the I don't have the bone lamp recipe. But uh, maybe we do have the recipe and I'm just not realizing which one it is talking about. And since it is a bone lamp recipe, I'm going to assume we need bones, right? Probably, probably a good idea. Or probably a good assumption that we need bones, right? Okay, we got the wood planks. Uh, we got the fabric dye. We need 160, 160 cotton. I thought it was 120. Well, I was apparently mistaken. I guess we're heading back to the uh, social hub here. Okay. Hmm. That is a lot of cotton. I'm trying to think of what all it wanted, it wants to, to craft here. The only thing I can think of is some sort of dyed fabrics. You. That's 153 out of 116. There's 163 out of 160. Okay, so what, what is it asking for us from us now? Craft a rope using stone forge. Okay, and we need 40 rope. 40 rope. That explains all the cotton. That is a lot of cotton. Holy crap. Uh, we're going to need that much rope anyway, because uh, I do want to create uh, finish this quest at some point. Uh, how much rope do we already have is my next question. Let's see, uh, rope, wrong chest, wait, not the wrong chest, right chest, different colored rope. We have six, we can craft rope using the stone forge, that is not the stone forge, this is a stone forge. Okay, so this is why we need the fabric dye. Alrighty, I, I get ya. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, we want to discard that, so it's going to drop it on the ground. It wanted 34 fabric dye. Okay. For some reason I was thinking it was more like 50 or something. I, I don't know why. Uh, this is going to take 30 seconds per rope. Yeesh. Uh, by the way, we have 11 rope here. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh huh. Well, I guess uh, we better get crafting, shall we? Well, there's six of the, uh, well, six more out of the 40. Well, this is going to take a while, and I believe this is going to be the end of this episode. I got quite a bit of uh, crafting to do, and uh, I think next episode we'll, uh, Somebody else wants us to use this rope for. I'm 
really hoping I could... I almost feel like it's this. I really do. Like, how many does it want us to craft? Ten. Ten bone lamps. This would make sense. It really would. Crafting freestanding bone lamp. Okay, so it is, so it is these. It is indeed these that it wants. Okay. Uh, so that makes sense. So we can craft two with the rope that we have. Okay. Well, at least we understand what the hell it wants now. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this episode. We're gonna have to finish off the rest of those ten off camera. Our uh, next episode. Sorry. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Sky Saga and Dial videos as well as other gaming videos. Uh, but until next time, take it easy.